the first time that our first prototype lit up, you know, activated with Alexa and answered a question, I was like, it's like tears. <laughs> you know, it's like <laughs> it was the voice experience. I'm Jeff Blankenberg, Chief Technical Evangelist at Amazon Alexa. We're here in Northfield, Vermont, to talk with Chandler Merch. He's a founder of TalkSocket, a cool device that goes on the back of your phone that makes it easy to talk with Alexa. Let's go say hi. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Chandler, good to see you. Good to see you. Man, I love this house. Thank you. Uh, you want to take a walk around the property, check it out? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, how long have you guys been here? Well, we moved from Seattle about six months ago and came out set up shop on 40 acres of land. Man, this is amazing. And so 40 acres is a lot. What do you guys use the land for? Well, we plan to use it for growing crops, uh, livestock, chickens and such, um, setting up some solar panels. We oh, nice. We kind of really want to be a little bit more sustainable. Yeah. Kind of off the grid. This is a nice contrast to see like the CEO of a tech company living out in like completely off the grid. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to have the, the remoteness, the quiet, um, but at the same time, I'm a techie person and I wanted to remain connected. I want to have a, a smart home and do all that fun stuff, but have a little peace and quiet at the same time. Right. Well, it's nice to be able to talk to a 200-year-old house, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why don't we go inside and get warmed up? Cool. So one of the things I like to ask founders is for their elevator pitch. Can you share that with me? Yeah, so uh, TalkSocket is a unique mobile accessory that combines hands-free Alexa with a PopSockets form factor. It is Alexa that you can take everywhere you go and use easily to do the things that you enjoy doing at home already. I started with my co-founder, Andrew, uh, losing his phone in the back of an Uber. And he wanted to figure out how he could solve this problem of lost phones. And then we started to think, well, if we're putting together hardware that's going to sit next to your phone and have all this intelligence to it, why don't we put Alexa into a phone case? Because we hadn't seen that before. It sounds like you've kind of ventured away from the finding my phone capabilities and more into the, how do I take Alexa with me everywhere else I take my phone, right? Exactly. And we had the ability to go and present it to Otterbox, the phone case manufacturer and showed them and said, isn't this exciting? Uh, don't you want to build this? And they were like, no. <laughs> Otterbox said, you know, if you could take your technology and shrink it down a little and put it into a pop socket, and uh, we'll see what happens. So we did that for a few months. We found some design companies to work with in Seattle that had you know, industrial designers and mechanical engineers, electrical engineers and they help us conceptualize it. You know, hardware is an expensive thing to develop compared with software. There's a lot of upfront costs. And so we met with a lot of angel investors. And for us, it was, it was a $5,000 check that helped to build the first sort of functional prototype. And then getting into the whole Alexa development process, you know, uh, that was actually made very easy by Amazon. Signing up for our developer accounts and getting all the resources we need, getting the, the wake word engine into our firmware to where we could, on our own device, say Alexa and have the talk socket wake up was huge for us. You know, when it comes to actually building something, the iterative process is a little bit slower than software. You know, there's a period of time where the button didn't feel good at all. Like it was very hard to press. And we said, okay, we've got to redesign these things. Over time, we were able to, to get the funds we needed, grow our team a little bit, you know, adding pieces in operations and marketing and more engineering capabilities. And we went back to Otterbox again and said, hey, you know, here we are. This thing, you know, works in it just like you suggested. And they were taken aback because, like, you actually did this? <laughs> like, they were so uh, excited that we had taken their feedback and worked on it and built something, and it actually did what it was supposed to. Then getting to where we've got our working product, we've got our box to sell, we've got a place to sell it, and then launching it, you know, uh, that, that is the final piece for us. 
What does the future look like? What's the, what's the next steps for the talk socket? I am excited to see how customers react to it. We have ideas about how people will use it, what will be most popular, but we know that customers will teach us new things about it, right? Voice is just becoming the killer user experience across many other verticals. And I want to see what other things we will enable with the talk socket, like what new applications or tools will be developed and, and what experiences those will create. And talking about the future, what I would like is to design something so we're spending less time you know, staring at our phones, flipping through the same three or four apps and getting locked into that. Something that is very helpful to have meaningful connections with our friends and family that doesn't take our ourselves away from the moment so that we stay present in what we're doing. And I think that this is sort of the, the first step towards it. We've got two girls, they're eight and three and a half, and They've been using Alexa from a very young age. Alexa, make some fart noises. Fart 17 times in a row. Here comes a serving of 17 farts. We're gonna have to listen to them all. Oh, man. <laughs> so we're living in a 200-year-old home. Our water is spring-fed to a cistern in our basement. We have a wood-burning furnace that heats not only our home, but our hot water. And at the same time, we have an Alexa-powered smart home with light bulbs and garage door openers and thermostats, and I think that's fantastic. Alexa, that's a wrap.